Good morning, guys. One of the things that I did when I first purchased this beautiful property here was walk around it with the real estate agent and look for stakes or markers. And I saw some, but I wasn't sure whether they were markers or not. I figured I'll just come by with a metal detector later after I purchase this property and um, find the markers. So when I landed on the property, I thought the very first thing I should do is let's just measure the property and see if it's uh, the measures the same as it does on paper. So that be said, it's 528 feet long by 333 feet wide. So let's take our measuring tape. I got one from Harbor Freight. Um, I'm not sure how professional it is. I'm not going to look very professional with this at all. I'm not a surveyor. And let's just see, is it really 528 feet long? And, uh, and we'll just see how that turns out. So we'll start at the northwest corner of the property. We found the survey marker. It's going to be a hot day today, probably going to be 100. And you can see the beautiful Wachuca Mountains in the background. So I purchased this um, tape. I don't know whether it's an actual surveyor's tape or not. Uh, from Harbor Freight. So I'm going to use this to just run down my property line and see if it really is 528 feet long. I'm right at the boundary marker, so let's just see if the surveyor did his job. <clears throat> so pretty low tech here. I'm just going to um, tap a stake in here, which I did, and uh, we'll just tie one end of the tape around the stake I realize I'll lose an inch or two that way, but it's not going to matter a great deal. Now the tape isn't really 500, over 500 feet long. I think it's around 300 feet approximately. So I will just have to uh, <clears throat> measure as I go and do it in increments. So here we are at 250 feet, and so now on to another 250 feet and see where that goes. So we'll reel it all in and go for another 250 feet. My stake came out. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. Now this is the 500 foot boundary, and now I've already encroached about 30 feet onto the neighbor's property. So for privacy reasons, I won't show you their property. This is a little disconcerting because I haven't come to the end of my property line, and now I've encroached at least 30 feet on my neighbor's property. So obviously, for someone who's invested everything in this property, this is a bit of a worry. 
So I found uh, wooden stakes like this, and I thought, well, that's got to be the markers. I'm home free. So what I'll do is I'll get a metal detector, and I'll just go around and I'll look for the metal pins and define the property. So I did indeed rent a, a metal detector from a really nice guy who drove all the way all the way from Vail, which is a long ways from my property, and delivered the metal detector. So I went around and I looked all around these sticks for the property pins and I went all over this property and I found none. Another part of this property boundary issue is that I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll see if I can find the original survey company and ask them, maybe they can just tell me where the property boundaries are and the pins and that should work good. Bit of a problem. That company was sold to another company who now is in Tucson. So fortunately, I did find that company and they did confirm that they had bought out the original survey company. Also, which was really great, they connected me with the original surveyor who's now retired, really nice guy, who said, you know, I surveyed that, I remember that property. He even had records and he said, I put pins in all four corners of that property. So definitely some concern there for sure. I didn't understand why I couldn't find them. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and hired Gilbert and Associates in Sierra Vista, who are great people, very helpful, very prompt. I didn't have to wait very long. And I said to myself, look, let's just bite the bullet and pay the a little over eight hundred dollars to get this surveyed and i did okay today's an amazing day i've got justin from gilbert surveyors and justin's come to help me solve the mystery of what's up with the property and why did i run into the neighbors and still have about 50 feet to go just wanted to say thanks to justin and uh Obviously can't shake his hand because of all the crazy social distancing thing. But here's the man that did my survey. And, uh, and now we've got some great big stakes where they should be. So everybody knows what's going on, especially me, because I can be confused pretty easily. So anyway, thanks so much, Justin. You're welcome. Thank Sir? you for your service. And uh, uh, I certainly, certainly appreciate it. Alrighty, over and out, guys. and. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. Thanks, thanks. That's cool. Great, thanks. You may see yourself on YouTube. That's okay, no problem. <laughs> thanks to Kevin Gilbert and Associates, and actually our guy Justin, who came out and measured my property and surveyed it. Now the mystery is solved. There is now no worries about encroaching on the neighbors. I just said I own 50 feet of the road instead of 50 feet towards their property. So very thankful. Now I can concentrate on developing the property and just enjoying it.